Hey guys, and welcome back to another review to Patrigona A New World Bonding Banner. I gotta say, they did a fantastic job on all these characters here. It warms my heart that we finally got an SEO themed Elizabeth and Soka in a banner. It's about damn time, in my opinion. This banner is definitely really good. A pretty good powerhouse, in my opinion. A banner definitely not to sleep on. Offering critical guaranteed on a skill. What that means is if you do like an SS3 move, for an example, all your attacks will actually land will be critical hits, which is very nice, very good for grinding for RNG in the rank events. These characters also have to offer critical damage up for all party members on SS3. What this means is if you land a critical hit by chance, you will actually do more damage than normal. A very useful skill to have for grinding for RNG. Two really good skills to have. Now, there are a lot of people that are confused by this, and I do want to put this out there right now. You do have to limit your characters twice to unlock the critical guaranteed skill ability. You do have to unbreak them twice. Unfortunately, it isn't stock. But with that being said, this is our very first banner containing two abilities at once, which I really do enjoy. This banner is definitely going to be very helpful for grinding for RNG and the possible upcoming non-elemental rank event. Overall, a great banner. I do enjoy it, but I do have a slight nitpick with Liz here, and I'll cover her in a little bit. Here we've lost with a very cool idol animation, kind of sliding her rapier out, twirling it around, and putting it on the floor next to her. I think it's pretty cool. I kind of like the whole aspect of her slowly pulling it out. Kind of reminds me of uh, something more of like a serious look, if you will. I did really do enjoy it, and her idol animation kind of reminds me of the Halloween Elizabeth, if you will, as well. My favorite thing about this banner has definitely got to be the idol animations for these characters. Here we have Austin here doing an amazing fortune combo and teleporting behind the enemy during her SS3. Now, this is a very good feature to have, the teleportation aspect that is. That is because she could easily replace the second anniversary Austin. Not only does she have similar DPS to her, but she also has the critical damage up for all party members, as well as the potential guaranteed crit on SS3 on the second limit break. She can definitely overpower the second anniversary offline, hands down, and she's definitely a team player as well, offering the critical damage up. A very good unit to have on your non elemental ranking teams. And I really do enjoy her SS3 animation as well, having the wind cutting effect at the end. I think it's a really nice touch. I've never really seen a move like that before in this game, and it's very cool to see new SS3s um, like that every now and then. Austin here doing an amazing fortunate combo and teleporting behind the enemy during her SS3. A very wonderful unit to have. Next, we do have Elizabeth here, and my slight complaint is within her placement, or I should say her end placement during her SS3. And I'll cover her in a second here. Here we have Elizabeth here for her idol animation. A very cool Elizabeth themed idol animation, if you will. She kind of slams her mace on the ground and throws it over her shoulder, and she thrusts her hip out, if you will, with some sass. I really do enjoy it. Just reminds me of a Elizabeth character. Now, my complaint with this character is she has really good AoE, don't get me wrong. Even if you have auto approach off, she doesn't home on to the enemy, meaning she walks back and forth. She just goes in a straight line, pretty good for AoE. But when you're working against the enemy and or a boss per se, she has really bad placement. If you guys realize or remember the Fatable Shinon, after you would spam one SS3, she would inch her way closer slowly and not terribly far, but she'd inch her way closer every time you use an SS3. This Elizabeth here takes massive gaps after you spam her SS3, making her incredibly closer to the enemy after using one SS3. This puts her closer and closer inside the enemy slash boss the more you use her SS3. Now, a lot of people don't really like this. I don't really like it myself. But if you're not going to really spam this Elizabeth four times consecutively against a boss. With that being said, you can easily use her as a switch partner and completely get rid of the fact that she is in the middle of the enemy. But with that being said, she does have a bad inching um, situation where when you spam one SS3, she gets incredibly closer at the end of her SS3, which is really, really annoying in terms of spamming your SS3. Overall, a not a bad unit to have, but she does have that slight issue. Just so that way you guys do know, um, and so you guys aren't wondering why she's in the middle of the enemy for no apparent reason. Elizabeth here doing a pretty decent 12 a combo. She's supposed to stay in the same side of the enemy. But a very cool idol animation. Very nice, Liz. Next, we finally got Silk here, and my favorite unit 
out of this entire banner has definitely got to be Ahsoka. With the fact that we finally got Elizabeth and a Ahsoka in the SEO um, equipment. Very, very happy with that. But we also got Pina in a idol animation. I'm so happy that we finally got Pina here. So get here, kind of like in a battle stance. Pina popping over shoulder and just chewing around. A very cool idol animation. I gotta say, hands down, this is definitely my favorite idol animation. I think it's been long overdue since we got a Soka with a Pina idol animation. I kind of been waiting for this since the second anniversary banner um, was announced, not even dropped, but announced. Very happy that we finally got Soka here. So good, doing an amazing 14 in combo, teleporting behind the enemy at the end of our SS3. Very nice. Now, you guys do need to be careful. She is a close range unit. Your daggers are pretty close, but she does have a very close SS3. So you guys want to be a little closer and you guys do spam your SS3. So you guys do put some distance between you guys when you end your SS3. If you guys do your SS3 and you are further away from the enemy, you will end up in the middle. You do want to be at a decent distance when you do spam. With that being said, very good SS3 uh, combo. Wonderful SS3 animation as well. We got Pina here spinning bubbles at the enemy. Very cool with the very lovely idol animation as well. Definitely one of my favorite six star units today. Now in my opinion, what a scout on this banner? This banner is really good. Like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people are really pushing this banner aside. I believe this banner is really good. Not only do we have the critical damage up for all party members, but we also got a double skill for the critical guaranteed skill or um, on skills, which is very nice. It pretty much allows you to power up your SS3s. And if you have, um, you know, critical increase damage or something like that, like these characters do, the two together, you're doing a lot more damage than you should actually be doing without any of these abilities, which is really really nice and these characters are pretty strong as a matter of fact this silka here has the highest dps for any non-elemental unit out there right now do mark me if i am wrong but i'm pretty sure that is the case these characters are really really good to be honest so if you guys do not have any of these second anniversary kyoto and or austin characters i recommend that you guys do definitely scan these if you guys do not getting any of these characters you guys will pretty much be set for the upcoming non-elemental rank event if you guys do not scouting on those characters. But overall, I would give this banner at least one scout. We are going to be having some cool and amazing upcoming banners this month. If you guys have not already joined the Discord, I'll leave it in the description below. We do leak the SS3 animations and stuff. A lot of people data mine stuff and we post them in the Discord. So that way you guys can get a sneak peek of what's coming up in the game before the game even announces it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys do get a wonderful scout as well. If you guys do know I'm scouting, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys think about the Elizabeth placement. What you guys could have thought the or think what they would have done differently. I think they could have added um, a less of a gap when you do spam your SS3. But that's my opinion at least. Nonetheless, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.